Okay, so hello YouTube, my name is LedFriarly.com, it's about 7-8 p.m. This video started actually uh, around uh, 9 a.m. Uh, this is a demonstration how to create a budget uh, mining rig. Well, budget, it has four R9 380 cards, so I don't know how budget it is, but if you want to have a mining ring, rig, uh, mm, you do have to have a good graphic cards obviously um the, there are a couple of things i do like to apologize uh, first of is uh, the uh, shitty quality because uh, i actually wasn't planning on uh, recording the video because i'm doing this for a friend and uh, bear in mind this is a very budget mining rig so uh, we had some ideas and it turned out quite quite okay in my opinion anyway now I'm recording with this because uh, I gave my iPhone uh, for a battery change because, well, Apple. I mean, one does not simply uh, get a good battery when it pays a thousand euros or whatnot for a fucking telephone. So I'm recording with this replacement telephone, which sucks as well. So obviously you cannot get a good phone these days. Now, uh, if you have any questions, if you would like to show show you the script I've made uh, in order for that mining to work, I can also make a video. This is uh, purely for entertainment purpose. Now, as you can see, this video is, I don't know, maybe 10-15 minutes long and uh, I kind of went crazy. The problem was that in the end I figured, figured out that one of my uh, brand new radions did not work. Awesome high quality stuff so uh if you like uh share subscribe whatever whatnot like blah you know what to do well anyway uh enjoy the video that's all i can say and uh, have a good day so hello youtube my name is vlad and this is sandro hi and we are building a mining rig without rig so this will be a quick video because unfortunately I do not have my own camera, my camera with me. I am recording with this shitty Lumia, which I hate very much because Windows. And this will be just a quick demonstration on how to make, how many, four, four cards, four cards minor with budget towers. So be right back. So unfortunately, this tower is too small to support four VGA cards, so we decided to have two of them and use duct tape, because duct tape in WD-40 solves everything, to stick them together. Yeah. So we have removed the back of the tower and we'll be sticking them one, back. one beside another. And I've also made this super thing because we have two power supplies instead of one because one is way more expensive than two with lower wattages and we have made this which is actually a switch so when this power supply turns on it will turn on this switch which will, which, which, which will turn on another power supply so be right back okay so we have installed the power supply we have connected to the motherboard now we also installed two VGA cards into this hollow see-through tower. Now the problem is they are moving, so we have a professional solution, which was the old bracket. So we'll be placing them underneath, and there you have it. Ta-da! We'll be using duct tape also. <laughs> be right back. So since this is a budget tower, uh, yeah, distance between, between these two is not too great but it's not pushing it downwards so it's kind of cool so the next thing a very oem vj holder a very oem and that way you have actually stable car cards of course we will be placing some duct tape here to hold them and isolating them with the duct tape as well. So, be right back. 
Okay, some duct tape later. And yeah, this is actually very stable. This should be high quality duct tape, so this shouldn't fall apart so soon. And since fans are at 100%, well, they will be at 100%. 0, 24, 7. Yes, 24 7. And it will be in a server room where there is an air condition. I think that this will be just, just fine. So let's put these two towers together. Okay, so for our secondary power supply, we'll be using this, well, rather dusty power supply. But what we have here is a thing called data bag duster. And this thing is awesome. Now let's see how good this thing works. And yeah, this power supply is now brand new. This is one awesome thing. So, some duct tape later, and this looks like uh, this, which is, actually, <laughs> it doesn't even look that bad. Now, what we have in here, this is one tower, this is another, and we'll be using old brackets to uh, reinforce them. That way, uh, nothing will be able to move. We'll be using one here as well. And... Uh, yeah, this is a, as I say, pretty budget tower, but this is actually, it turned out way better than expected. So, we have to connect everything and install Windows, and uh, let's see what, what happens next. So, we have a problem in logistics. My dear friend Sandro forgot to screw <laughs> the, uh, this, this, yeah. The, in here. the internal one. <laughs> so, we need to remove this one. No, no. Yeah. So, now it's all about <coughs> cable management. Now, all we need to do is to connect this thing. And this is actually a relay that will be turning on the other power supply. So, wish us luck. Okay, so the general idea is that this, the main power supply, when it turn, when it's turned on, it sends 12 volts to this relay, which connects connects well, these two wires, and it turns on uh, this power supply, which then supplies the power to these VGA cards. Of course, they are connected with ground by a diode, so this should be somewhat functional. However, whether it will work or not, we'll see. And yeah, the best part is that uh, we can actually. Uh, we can actually close this tower. <laughs> oh, how awesome is this? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty... And there, this is a carbon fiber, obviously. <laughs> and yeah, this is not that bad. Not that bad at all. So yeah, this is another layer of professional protection, obviously. Now let's see whether this thing will turn on or not. Um, can you put it straight? Okay, now I think that this one is not doing anything, but this one, okay. Uh -uh. Yeah, it did. Uh -uh. Yeah, everything is on. Everything is working. Only... Yeah, it does. Okay, so we hook up, hooked up the screen and let's see whether this thing turns on or not. I certainly hope it does. Yes! <laughs> okay. Is it starting Windows? There is some noise coming from the hard drive. What the hell? Hmm. Seriously, if it's a faulty hard drive, I will burn myself. So, yeah, a faulty fucking hard drive. And hard drive was way inside. It was a bloody adventure. <sighs> Removing it. 
we'll be placing the new one in here. So there you have it, new hard drive and be right back, I guess. So one faulty hard drive later. This one is making normal noise. These fans are spinning, graphic cards are working. And yeah, this thing is actually working. Now, although it has Windows XP, I think these are Windows XP. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'll be installing Windows 7 and let's see whether this thing will work or not. So, one new hard drive later and I've installed it in here. Everything seems to be working and I did install Windows. So, now I have another problem which is, well, <sighs> which is following uh, uh, device manager. Only three cards are detected. So it means that maybe there's a problem with uh, either riser, riser cards or something. So, uh, that didn't go as well planned. That didn't go as planned. Uh, so, <laughs> well, first of all, I'll install drivers, and then I'll be back, and then I will be testing which one is not working. So I've moved this this button one did not work, and I moved this razor card from the last port to one before that one. So let's see whether this thing actually works or not at this moment. It could be that this motherboard supports only three slots, which actually sucks. Okay. Alrighty then, something actually is installing, so that might be it. Let's see. Still only three cards. Hmm. Hmm. I will see. So, as it seems, this bloody cable is not working. Unfortunately, I do not have one at home, so I'm going to get one. <sighs> Believe it or not, my uh, application crashed. I. Uh, this is the new. USB cable and a new USB razor card. <sighs> I've already thrown everything away, which is here. And I will be testing to see whether this thing finally solves the problem of fourth card not working. By the way, every time I say so in the video is a new clip. It seems that I say so a lot of times. What can you do? I already drank a couple of beers, so this will be an adventure. And so, let's see how this thing um, goes. And basically this is the end of the video. I did figure out what was wrong and this brand new card, I even tried turning <laughs> this thing on and off, still didn't, didn't, did nothing. Um, this uh, card is just simply not working. It arrived broken. Too bad. It was actually a brand new card. <sighs> so, risers were not, were not the problem. And uh, basically everything is working as it should. I did try a new riser, but uh, nothing helped. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you did, you can leave thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can always ask. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.